To fill the tax info or the W-8 form, we need to have your identity card available, okay? So if you're in Ghana, I'm talking about your Ghana card. But if you're in other country, get that thing ready first. After that, you come and then continue with the video. But let me show you how you can add your tax info to your account, whether you're a US citizen or not. I'll be explaining everything to you. What I need to do is to just first like the video and subscribe more this right here on this platform. Let's start and let's dive into how you can add it. Let's go. So there are two ways of getting to where we have the tax info and whether you use your smartphone or use a laptop, it is the same process, okay? So log on to your account, go to your profile. This is the first way that you can get to know where your tax info is that you can add your details, okay? So when you go to your account, then you go to your analytics. With analytics at the top, scroll down to where we have monetization and then you will see something like this right there. And then you can tap and continue to fill that form, okay? Or you go to your um menu okay you go to your menu then you scroll down right here and then you go to settings and privacy so after that look for settings and tap on settings okay and then when you come to this side scroll down from here scroll down scroll down scroll down and then you will see payout when you see payout tap on the payout and then with this side you will see it as well right here okay so you can see now this is my balance and then it will give you analysis of your payout as well and you will see it finished setup right here and when you scroll from the top right here you will see add your tax info to get paid that means i haven't set up or i'm not done with it okay so what i'm going to do is to tap on the add tax info after tapping on that you will see add tax info you tap on it again so this is what you're going to do it will then load and give you this trying to let you log in again then you log in because it is facebook that's referred you to that login page you, you just have to log in okay but if you were logging on on the website then you should be very careful and make sure you enter the correct url for facebook otherwise you can log on to any website and then in the process of trying to add your tax info and those details to your account you will get hacked okay so just be careful Either use the Facebook app, okay, or make sure you are on the correct URL, okay. All right, so you log in. After logging in, the first page of the tax info, okay, and all that you're going to do is with this side, we have what is your tax classification? Is it individual or business? For me, it is individual, it's not business. Business is different from individual, those content creators will mostly go for individual but if you are someone who set up or has a particular company that you are running just because of business then you go in for business and that one also has its own way of doing that but mostly this is for individual um tax form that i'm going to show you how you can fill okay so individual will be set automatically or you go in for that after that you look down here then it will ask you are you a u.s citizen or not so for me as a Guinean I will go for non US okay non US if you have moved from Ghana to US doesn't mean you are a citizen of US okay you don't have um, the identification card of US I mean yes I know I know you are getting what I'm trying to say for me I have identification card that's a Ghana card that proves that I am a Guinean you get it so if you have moved from Ghana to that place that doesn't mean you are you are a u.s citizen okay so it is two different things is it that you were born there and a u.s citizen or you are outside the u.s okay so yes if you're outside the u.s or you're not born there yes you're going in for no okay so are you a u.s citizen u.s permanent resident that's the green card holder or other resident alien so you're going in for anyone whether you are an alien or not so i'll go for no and then it will then give you another option so the pop-up that you give here will de determine the next answer uh, sorry the next question that will appear okay so are you acting as an intermediary agent or other person receiving payments on behalf of an another person or as a flow through entry so here for me personally i will choose no it is asking you that are you standing in for let's say someone 
to receive payment then let's say you send it to that person or you are the owner like you are the one you are the main person who will be receiving the payment you get it so if you are someone who is going to be uh, receiving the money and then sending it to someone then you let them know so that they can know that the details will be different because the moment you accept that you are not or you are the same person okay the same person going to receive your main cash most of the details need to be same as your account or most of the details should be similar to your account because when you register your account when we started this Facebook monetization I told you that make sure all details are correct if you remember i know most of you remember but that is how it goes every um invalid data that you give will affect you that day uh, one day okay so just be careful and choose wisely right here if you are the owner of the account and then you you'll be the one to be receiving the um the payment then you go for no okay yes you go for for no if you are the owner you will be receiving the cash and not sending it to the other person okay yes but if you if you receive the cash and then you send it to someone who is the owner then you will go for yes okay then you will tap on next down here i have to take my time because most people have been asking me of this and i have to take time to explain no rush okay so just watch to the end all that you are waiting for is here okay so we have enter name and taxpayer identification number that's the 10 okay so it gets interesting right here you could see that the full name my name has been filled automatically i told you i told you so if you if it's another account then you have to enter those details right here but here my name has been there already because they know that i have identity card you get it because it will be it will be provided in the process if not something who will be needed from your identity card so let's see so you enter your full name then you will select the country or citizen okay like you know you just look for your country right here i'll go for ghana can you give me a like okay yes Ga um, ghana is here Ga like the video for me okay and then we have the taxpayer identification number that's the 10 so i have a non-us 10 you could see right here it has automatically take right here because we we told them that we are not a u.s citizen yes so right here what i'm going to enter here is your ghana card number so if you are Ghanaian and then you are you are finding issue with the 10 just enter your ghana card number right here and that's all okay or you can do the 10 if you don't have the ghana card i can help you with that you can just check in the comment section description just dm me okay and then i will help you get it it's not that expensive it's not that expensive but you have to you know pay something for the 10 so if you have the ghana card just enter the ghana card numbers the numbers on it okay the numbers on it and then it will be accepted okay so after entering the numbers right here you look down here and then you will tap on next so when you tap on next it will bring right here and all that you're going to do is to enter your address so the address entails your country your address line one address line two and then also your city and your state and the zip code if you are in ghana yes or any other country this is the trick with the zip code okay ghana don't have zip code but other countries do so those countries who knows their zip code just enter it there but if you are in ghana yes enter zero zero two three three okay so the zero zero is just um you see the thing is that we don't have zip code so we are using the ghana postcode okay and that is the zero zero two three three the zero zero is just meaningless and then the two three three is the country code okay so yes so enter zero zero two three three that's for Ghanaians only if you are in other country just check for yours and then you enter it right there for me, for my account i've already entered all this so somewhere before that's why everything is here but that's how or these are some of the register you provided in this particular page okay then you tap on next okay so make sure all details are correct i keep saying it make sure all are correct okay and then um you come to where we have your mailing address so you enter your mailing address if it is the same as the one that you have linked you see the blue tick right here it will, it will come automatically or you can just tap to turn it off and then you just input it differently but it is that it's just the same thing okay know that 
the mailing address, the address with the previous one to, they should be the same. They are all the same. So the mailing address and the previous address is all the same. Then you tap on next. But make sure it is ticked right here as same as permanent address. Okay. Then you tap on next to continue with it. Then claim of tax treaty benefits. So by providing the information below, you may be eligible for treaty benefit to receive a reduction in the 30% statutory US withholding tax rate applied to your US source payments. Because you are not working in the US or you are not doing this as a US citizen, you have to pay tax for it and that is a 30% tax. And because of that, you are going to select your country of residence right, right here, okay? And then that will let them know the amount of tax that they give to that particular country. So you are going to select your country once again, in short, that's it. Then I'll select Ghana, okay? So you do not appear to be eligible for treaty benefit. The statutory US withholding tax rate of 30% will be applied to your US source payment, okay? So as I told you, that is what they are also saying right here. So they are just trying to question me that, hey, you are not in that country. So you pay the 30%, then you tap on next, to continue don't be lying if you if you lie right here you will face a lot of issues you know your accounts may not be verified and then monetized for you okay so just make sure you are providing all this is correctly as i am doing right here this is my own account and we are setting up and showing it by step by step okay so just give me a like i've been alerting you if you don't like you're not supporting what i'm doing right here i'm helping you and you should help me with a like so you are going to contact us to continue so First, you see this right here. I consent to provide electronic signature for the information provided as per IRS form W8BGN. So, we are going to fill this form. You have to take your time and read through, but this is how it's going to be. After showing you, just as you are doing it yourself, read, okay, read through, okay. So, you are going to consent first because you are not there to provide physical form. So, they are just like electronic. Okay, so the electronic, you use your name to, as a signature, you get it. So instead of you being there and then signing on the form that you have accepted, you have agreed, yes, you are going to use your name relating to your account. That's yes. So let's go through right here. So you scroll down right here. As I said, you will read everything. You will read everything. After that, you go to, I certify that I have the capacity to sign for the person identified on line one on this form, okay? So the person in line one is here. That's why I, I told you that you have to read, okay? So the person in line one, and then you tap on the uh, signature, then you type your full name, okay? So after typing your full name, that is your signature. It means that you have signed, you have agreed to whatever that they have told you. Then the date will also be there. So um the date you tap on it and then you change it to the latest one okay or automatically it will be there okay so just um know that you can modify the date to a day before or after to fit your time zone so as you check and then let's say you are in um the next day and then you see this in the previous day then you make changes to it okay so yes that's it but here everything is okay but please take note of this. If you are doing it in the name of someone, okay, you are not going to consent for the first one that is um, providing the W8BN form, okay? So you will uncheck that one, you will uncheck it, okay? And then you will go to next. So yours is different, and then this one is different. Since we chose individual and we are the owners of the account, we will go for the check. But if not the owner, and you are someone who will be receiving the payment as we talked about it, then you will uncheck this and then you do it, okay? So that's how it works with the um, W8BEN. So with you, you take this form, you will then print it, you will sign it, okay? And then you will continue with that uh, submission, okay? So yes, with us, we will just consent and then we will tap on next. And please, one issue that you may face when it comes to the electronic signature with using your name is that it will tell you that your name is not correct okay so all that you have to do is you have to enter your first name first okay first name first then the same name last first name first 
surname last. Otherwise, you will start with the surname and then you you it will be like nothing will be moving. Okay, so you see there is an example of it. It will tell you that it is wrong, but it is your name. You know that yes, it is your details. Okay, so after that, after you have entered your name correctly as your signature, then you go to next. You to bring right here. Then you review and submit. So you're going to read um read through. Okay, you're going to check that. All these that you have selected are correct. All those data that you have entered is correct. So you check through, check through correct, like take your time and then read through, okay? Because of, you know, if you fail to maintain something correctly on the form and then it gets submitted, you cannot do anything unless they bounce you back that it's not accepted and then you have to do it again. Maybe it will, it will take some days, who knows, or months, and then your account will still not be earning you get it so kindly go through or take your time and then do it okay after that come to the button right here and then you will tap on the submit form submit form if you think there is a mistake you have noticed some mistakes on the w8bn form okay then you will tap on make changes so when you tap on make changes it will then send you back okay to the first place and then you can go to next, 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 so that you can make changes to whatever that you notice that it was wrong. So yes, so we will tap on the next, and then you go to the next again, and then you go to the next, and then the next, and then the next, and then the last one, you enter your full name again. So with the signature, you want to enter it again because you went back, it has been cleared. Then you will tap on submit form, okay? And then you can see that tax profile, you have successfully submitted your information and your information has been verified. So your tax information is complete. And I think with my, it, it did not take even long time, okay? So yes, that's how it works. And then I think you receive email as well, okay? So you can see right here that uh, you can end and receive payout again. So it's my hard issue and that's the reason why I was able to make this video because in, the, in that previous video, I told you that I won't be able to make that video because my account has been monetized already. So it's good that I had issue with my account, okay? So you are not done with it. You will look for where we have, I want paperless delivery, okay? You make sure this is ticked right here so that you can get uh, messages in your email, okay? So that you can be notified of what is going on just like how i just got notified that my payout has been returned and, and ev like everything is in order now you get it then you tap on that down here so with adding my tax information i am done with it and now you can see it is not here again it's not appearing again so this is how you can add your tax information to um, facebook okay if you have any issue or if you face any issue can you leave it in the comment section and then i'll help you out with it stay alive and give me a like bye for now